Hi, good morning. Today's topic is accounting reverse charge under GST. Reverse charge mechanism is a concept where the recipient or buyer of goods or services has to pay tax to the credit of, of the government. Unlike in forward charge where the supplier is liable to pay tax, integrated tax is to be paid by the service recipient instead of supplier. The key change is the responsibility of paying tax in reverse charge mechanism is the liability to pay tax which has moved from supplier to the buyer. Now, where are we actually apply reverse charge? Reverse charge is applicable in case of supply of notified goods and services. 12 services has been notified by the government on which reverse charge mechanism shall apply. Not only on services, it is applicable on supply of good as well. Following are the 12 services covered under reverse charge mechanism and 100% taxable from service recipient. Number 1 is import of services. Number 2nd is goods transport agency. Number 3rd is legal services provided by advocates. Number 4 is services provided by arbitral tribunal. Number 5 is sponsorship services. Number 6 is services provided by the government or local authority. Seventh is service provided by directors to the company. Eighth point is services provided by insurance agent to the insurance company. Ninth is service provided by recovery agents to the banking and finance company. Tenth point is transport of goods in a vessel from place outside India to the custom station for clearance in India. And eleventh point is transfer of copyrights relating to original literary dramatic, musical or artistic works and point 11, number 12 is cab services provided through e-commerce operators. Number point, number second is reverse charge is also applicable in case of supply by an unregistered person to a registered person. Where such supply is taxable, goods or services that says service recipient is liable to pay tax. If the supplier of good is an unregistered person and recipient is registered and the aggregate value of all such supplies in a day exceeds 5,000 rupees, then GST on such supplier needs to be paid by the recipient under reverse charge. Next is, if the aggregate value of supply is less than 5,000 in a day, then the recipient is not liable to pay tax on reverse charge. Now they have given me one question that on 2nd August, Mukta Trader received the stock 12 number of wireless keyboards worth Rs 500 each from Mr. Rahul that is an unregistered dealer in SP Road, Bangalore. So for this, I'll open my purchase voucher. Supply invoice number will be PUR slash 0A. Party account will be Mr. Rahul. Here I want to show you what I have done in Mr. Rahul's ledger. Here I have selected only registration type as from regular dealer to unregistered dealer. So that means that if any dealer is an unregistered dealer then he is not liable for the GSTN number. Alright. Next here I will select purchase from unregistered dealer. Here I want to show you. What I have done, I have traded purchase from unregistered dealer ledger under purchase account and I have set and alter GST details over here by say, by adding the details like wireless keyboard in the description. HSN code is 84716040 and nature of transaction I have selected purchase from unregistered dealer taxable. And here I have set integrated tax 18% goods. Then I created wireless keyboard stock item. Quantity is 12 at the rate 500. So you can see that my amount comes out to be 6000. But in case of reverse charge under GST, we don't need to show the tax calculations in the voucher screen. What we are going to do, we will press Alt plus A. And we will show the tax calculation in tax analysis screen by pressing Alt plus A and after that Alt plus F1. So you can see that indirectly my central tax and state tax has been calculated. Alright.
I'll go back. I'll save this entry now. Okay. Now the next the next steps are once the above entry is recorded, go to gateway of tally. Now once my entry is recorded, I need to go to display more reports. We'll go to GST reports. And here I'll check my GSTRT. So now I'll check from 1st August. From 1st August to 2nd August. I will check this is. You can see that. This is B2B unregistered dealer entry. So you can see that. I'll delete one entry over here. So you can see that my entry of unregistered dealer is showing over here with central text. 540 and state tax 540. Alright. Here what I need to do from this screen. I will go. 1st August to 2nd August. Okay. From this screen. I will press F7. Okay. I will go back. I'll go to vouchers and press F7 journal voucher. Here I need to do, I need to press Alt plus J. Start adjustment. I'll select GST. Nature of transaction, I'll select increase of tax liability. And additional detail may, I'll select purchase under reverse charge. Okay. So now, what I need to do now, I need to show my tax liability. So, for this, the entry will be entry will be tax on URD purchase under under duties and taxes GST. Integrated tax. Here I will add total amount 1080 and credit my central tax at the rate 9%. It will come out to be 540. And state tax at the rate 9%. It will come out to be 540. So this way I have shown my liability. Now the next step I'll go to payment voucher. Here I'll do control plus S. Alt plus S. Wait a second. Control plus F. Here I need to do the stat payment. So for this I'll select the type of transaction stat payment. Tax type GST. Here I'll select recipient liability from period 1st July to 2nd August. Okay. So I'll debit my central tax at the rate 9%. It will come out to be 540. And credit my debit my State tax at the rate nine percent will be five percent. Credit my tax on URD purchase one zero eight zero, and this way my entry is done. Control plus H. I'll do the single entry. Here I need to select quota. So I need to create a quota bank over here under bank account. I'll go back and create an opening balance in quota bank account. One lakh. Then I'll pay statutory tax. Okay, so this way my entry is done. Alright, so this is the payment entry.
Now after doing the payment entry, I am going to record journal voucher to increase the input tax credit of purchase from URD after payment of liability to department. So for this, what I am going to do, I am going to open my journal voucher. Here I am going to uh, add a date, 2nd August. Reference number, I will do not select over here. Here I will debit my central tax. 540 debit my state tax 540 and credit my tax on URD purchase 108. Wait a second. I'll do all plus J GST. Then here I'll do increase of input tax credit. Under purchase under reverse charge. This way. Okay, so this way entry will be done. Alright, so this is all about the reverse charge mechanism. Now the next point is the next topic is how we are going to do the accounting of supply of services. So till now we have done accounting of goods of goods supply of goods. Now we will do accounting of supply of services. After enabling GST in the company, you can record inward and outward supply of services using purchase voucher and sale of services using sales voucher respectively. We know taxability depends on the place of supply. Determine the place of supply is critical to identify the taxability. A supply, supply of service shall be an intrastate supply. If the service provider and the service recipient are located in the same state. In this section, we will learn to record outward supply of services using Tele Prime. Here, what they have given to me, they have given me one business scenario that Mukta Traders diversify its business and entered in providing advertisement services to different customers in and around the state. So, on 2nd August 2023, Mukta Traders provided Advertisement services worth rupees 5 lakh to Cello Private Limited of Karnataka. Additionally, GST at the rate 18% is charged on the invoice with reference number 11 slash MT. So for this, I'll open my sales voucher. Here, I'll add the reference number 11 slash MT on 2nd August. Party account name will be All plus C Cello Private Limited. Under sundry data, here I'll add GST number 29KKK1234P1 and GST number 29 And along with that, I'm going to press Ctrl plus H and I'm going to change the mode from item invoice to accounting invoice. Now I need to create a ledger of advertisement service under indirect income. Here I need to set in all the GST details, advertisement service HSN code will be 0012345 nature of transaction will be sales taxable on tax rate will be 18% goods now it will show it will now we will select type of supply services here I'll add 5 lakh manually and here I'll calculate central tax at the rate 9% it comes out to be 45,000 and state tax at the rate 9%. It comes out to be 45,000. Alright. So this way we have done the advertisement service sales entry. Okay. Now the next topic is accounting of exempted services. So we should know about the exempted services. What exempted services actually are. So exempted services are the services which are not subject to tax. 
the local or interstate purchase of services are exempted from GST can be recorded in daily price. The following are few services listed which are exempted from GST. Number one is renting of residential house for use of residence. Number second is transmission of electricity by an electricity transmission utility. Number third is agricultural related services like supply of farm labor, cutting, harvesting, etc. Number fourth is services by Reserve Bank of India. Number five is services provided by government or local authority. Following are few goods listed which are exempted from GST like books, journals and periodicals, newspapers, fresh fruits and vegetables, fresh meat, chicken, eggs, milk, stems, judicial papers, etc. Let us now check how to record the exempted goods services transaction in Delhi Prime. So for this Mukta Trader has uh, given me a business scenario that Mukta Trader diversify its business and entered in providing agriculture services like cutting, harvesting etc. These services are not subjected to GST. So here I'll open my sales voucher which is already open. Here on 2nd August 2023 Mukta Traders provided agriculture services to Kushi Farms for 50,000 and this service is completely exempted from GST tax. Here I need to add a, a reference number over here. So reference number will be 12 slash empty. On 2nd August, I'll create a ledger Kushi Farms under sundry data. Here what I need to do is, I need to add a GSTN number. So GSTN number will not be added over here. Here I'll create a ledger of agricultural services under indirect income. Here I will set and alter GST details. Here I'll write down agricultural services. HSN code will be 127-86-567. Age of transaction will be sales exam. Alright, so I'll select the type of supply as services. Now I'll add 50,000 over here. And that's it. This way my entry is done. Because government has exempted the agricultural sector from completely from GST. So that's why whatever we are uh, like uh, selling, uh, if we are selling agricultural products or if you are purchasing agriculture services, no GST will be deducted. Alright. So this way I am completed with GST. So I hope you have understood all the topics of GST. Stay tuned with me in the next interesting topics of GST. Stay tuned. Thank you so much.